I didn't realize I'd need a pen and paper just to watch House of the Dragon. I barely know who anybody is or why they're all so stupid. Yeah, that's right, I'm back, and I finally got caught up on Game of Thrones, well, the spinoff of Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon, which we thought season one was pretty decent. Not amazing, but pretty decent, and I'm finally caught up to season three. I am on pace. I should be doing more reviews of this as we go along, but I'm not impressed with what I'm seeing so far. A lot of the characters are making stupid decisions, and apparently I'm not the only one who sees this, and I'm not going to go into... Obviously, there's going to be heavy spoilers, but I'm not going to break down the entire plot of this particular episode or what's been going on. We know there's a war brewing, and uh, there's been some escalations, we'll say. And then there's a bunch of people making some really dumb decisions, and nobody really seems to understand why. Why? So, we're going to take a look at it, because apparently I'm not the only person who thinks this. So, we're going to take a look at some articles that I found to be kind of interesting, that other people who are breaking this down, they're saying some similar things. And I typically don't try to check out other reviews, <clears throat> but in this particular circumstance, I felt the need, because I, I don't, I honestly, I'm having trouble keeping track of everybody. And one thing I don't necessarily enjoy about the show is that they keep throwing out names just so that you will feel familiarity with Game of Thrones. And we all know how Game of Thrones ends. Very disappointing. And now they're starting to make some pretty similar mistakes. You know, just because they throw in Tully and Harrenhal and all those things, we're supposed to be like, ooh, I remember that. Ooh, I remember that. Make it make sense within the plot. Don't have a bunch of stuff happen in the river lands and then like all these people trying to converge in the in the in the in the uh riverlands here you're all trying to meet at Harren Hall and get the the Harren Hall to pledge allegiance there's no soldiers in it and i know he says he wants to garrison soldiers in there but it's not how did nobody know nobody in the entire kingdom has any idea you've all these maesters and and all these different people have been around for a long time Nobody knows that Harren Hall is useless. She's like, it's the biggest castle. In the Everybody's got to get to Harren Hall, but there's nothing in it. Okay, that's like dumb thing number one. <clears throat> but these people from Pop Culture Happy Hour, NPR, this is NPR people, they want it to make sense. And uh, yeah, they keep saying, like I did like the opening credits were a little bit different. That was That was interesting. They start off with this old mill. They don't even show us the battle, which I thought was fine. It was cool. But literally, there's just all... Like, who are these people? I barely even know Team Green and Team Black exist. <laughs> Yet, I'm supposed to know why these guys are fighting. And apparently, no, the only reason why they're fighting is they don't like each other anyway. Oh, okay. Whatever, man. Um, But they're saying... As, as they go through it, they're breaking down everything that happens. And, and we'll get to the most important point, which is the cliffhanger. I guess they left it out on. But they're like, pencils out. We're going to be throwing a lot of names on at you. Just like Reyna is the younger of the two daughters that Damon had with his late wife, Lena, who got birth. None of the... I don't care about any of these characters because I don't know who they are. And the few characters that I do know don't seem to follow any sort of character motivation. I have no idea why anybody's doing anything. They got into a big fight. Like, Damon got into a big fight in the previous episode. Don't know. No one seems to know what his motivation is. He's just angry at everybody. Okay. <clears throat> and then you have Renera, who's literally, like, seems pretty smart. Like, she's spent a lot of effort trying to get to where she is and then makes one of the dumbest decisions I've ever even heard of. And she's sending all her kids away for no reason. They're like, we have too many characters. We just have to get rid of them. There's just too many. And then what's Sir Kristoff is doing? No idea. Why Why is Sir Kristen Cole so annoyed at everybody? Don't know. His haircut looks so stupid. <laughs> like, what is this haircut? Like, what are we doing here? Why did they add uh, Allison's brother? I have no idea. We've never seen him before. I don't even know if we've ever even heard of him. And he just shows up. And I'm just like... Why is he there? Why is he going with her? 
does he need like a babysitter? Because Kristen's not the one who needs the babysitter. It's her brother. So I, I don't know. Sir Gwen Hightower? No idea what, why they added this. Let's just keep throwing characters that have no purpose to the plot whatsoever. So again, this, this article is kind of going through it. Um, yeah. By the way, there's an entire five-minute scene where some guy claims to be the, the illegitimate child of a Valerian. And there's no reason for him to be there. I, I don't understand. I don't know why he's talking. I don't know what the whole scene is for. The guy clearly has nothing to do with the plot. Um, they completely skip past the 100% unnecessary, I'm hoping it's simulated fellatio scene. Like... Why that was they're just trying to shock us at this point. Like, there's been barely any nudity in the show, and then all of a sudden we get two wangs, an un and a uh, uh, I, I don't even know what why, 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 why is all this? And I'm not afraid of the nudity, but it doesn't add anything to the show. You know what I mean? When you open up a curtain and there's like a simulated oral copulation going on, why and no one's gonna talk about it because they're just like, Yeah, we're gonna pretend like we didn't see that. Like that actress, we had to hire an actress who needed to do, like, come on, what are we doing here? Why? What? Why? It doesn't, if it added to the scene, I could get it. But it, where is the intimacy coach in this one? You know, why are some shows like, yeah, we have an intimacy coach plot, And then they throw something like this in there, which is completely unnecessary. Where's the intimacy coach? Come on. Anyway, there's a bunch of stuff going on with Dragon. That they talk about the Dragon. Dragons don't do anything. She wasn't. Even, she was told not to even engage them anyway. But let's get to the dumbest part. Uh, the absurd reunion scene was as bad as Game of Thrones final seasons. Michael Walsh from Nerdist. These people are real pissed. And I just was like, at the time, I was like, wow, this is kind of stupid. But apparently, a lot of other people think it's even dumber than I thought. So essentially what happens is the two girls get together. Oh, we did have a, a, a very brief, nice cameo from Young Hotness. But um, yeah, I'd like them to bring back both young girls, but they didn't. But that's okay. So anyway, Alicent and Rhaenyra have a bit of a re reunion. Her, her idea is, I must go see her in person. We exchanged letters. Alicent sent her a letter. She could have kept sending letters back and forth. <laughs> but she's like, no, I must see her in person. So she sneaks into the sept so that she can talk to Allison in person. And then they basically accomplish absolutely nothing. And it's not even... <laughs> it's just so stupid. Oh, I just don't get it, right? Um, They're like, now a big part of their story is them being morons. <laughs> like their characters being morons, not the actresses. The actresses are, are just doing whatever. It just it doesn't make any sense for the plot. It's it yeah, they got the two of them together, but it doesn't make any sense. Why would she sneak in there? How would she sneak in there? How would she not get killed? And then if Allison decides, Allison's like, well, we're not gonna have an agreement here. She just walks out. Just have her killed. That's what would really happen. So again, show doesn't make any sense. I can't keep track of all the characters. I don't want to write them down. The show's going downhill, as far as I'm concerned. Let me know in the comments below if I'm right or wrong. I could be wrong. You might love this. But it's a little tricky. I think it's heading in the wrong direction. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We do have a live podcast that usually airs on Friday nights, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come join us for the fun. You could join the channel, like, and subscribe. We would really appreciate it. Hit the bell for notifications. We love all that because we love all y'all and you love us. So bring it home. Give us a big hug. And I am on to the next one.